It's gone. You both know what's at stake here. There isn't much road left. Take the bloody shot. Hi guys, it's Jamie RL here and uh, this is today is going to be the first of a film review on this channel. Today's film review is going to be more of um, a pilot or a test run for future film reviews um, and other such things uh, on this channel. Um, as promised, I'm going to do a film review today on the latest James Bond film, Skyfall, the 23rd film, uh, James Bond film that came out um, that I recently went and saw. I went and saw it on Tuesday. It was released on the 26th of October. Um, in the in the United Kingdom, uh, I think the premiere was on the twenty third of October. It's been released in the United States today, uh, the 9th of November. So it's an ideal time to give it a review. Um, so if I give any spoilers away, I'm sorry. Um, this is just a basic sort of film review. Uh, even sort of a bit of a plot overview, uh, my opinion, and what I'd rate it out of ten. This is the twenty third film in the Bond series, as previously stated, and it is Daniel Craig's third outing in the Bond franchise. In this film, Bond investigates an attack on MI six. But it actually transpires that it was part of an attack on him by former MI6 operative Raoul Silver. This film sees the return of two recurring characters in the Bond films that haven't featured in the last two films, Q and Miss Moneypenny. Q, played by Ben Whishaw, and uh, Miss Moneypenny, played by Naomi Harris. Skyfall was the last in a series of films uh, by Judi Dench, her character was M. Uh, she's played the last six films in the franchise, and uh, she's now going to be replaced by uh, Ralph Fiennes, um, character Gareth M Malloroy. This changing of the uh, actors and actresses in the characters uh, becomes the major sort of plot line within the story uh, and as the uh, as the film goes on you can sort of see what's happening and what's developing. I don't want to spoil it too much um, if you haven't already seen the film. Uh, I can understand why people don't like J this James Bond film on a whole because there uh, are little changes but if you were to go watch it yourself so you've already seen it you'll understand why. The main cast in this film is Daniel Craig uh, who's playing James Bond uh, Dewey Dench is playing as M. Uh, Ralph Fiennes is playing uh, Gareth Malloy, who becomes the new M. Javier Bardem, uh, who plays Ralph Silver. Naomi Harris, uh, Miss Moneypenny. Albert Finney, who is the gamekeeper of the Skyfall estate. Ben Whishaw as Q. Uh, I think this this cast of characters is quite an interesting cast. Um, it's sort of ranging from new to old characters. You'll probably see in the film the new Q. Um, isn't an older guy, and there's a pun line within the um, a lot of puns within. So of the scene which they first meet, in which Daniel Craig, James Bond meet, and uh, Q meet, is um, it's quite. Um, we don't know what's happening at first. Uh, we don't want to say too much what's happening. We don't know what's happening at first, but until it's revealed who he is, who this new character is, this new young vibrant character, um, I do think it sets quite. It's quite quite a nice new change for James Bond. I know, like I said previously, I know a lot of people don't like new changes in James Bond, but I personally think it's good. Um, a lot of people are saying it's not the new Bond. It's not sort of James Bond style anymore. It's sort of the new Bond. But personally, I enjoyed the film. I enjoyed all the little changes that were in it. Um, even though a lot of people didn't, you sort of came out of the film feeling sort of like you want to you want to go and achieve something in life, or at least I did. That point sort of brings me on to the audience. Um, who is who is Skyfall aimed at? Uh, I would say Skyfall is aimed at anyone really. Um, any sort of Bond enthusiast. Um, so it could be from even even kids. It could be young adults, uh, older adults, uh, the older generation. I think it caters for a wide range of people. People who enjoy action movies. People who enjoy spy sort of I'd say sci-fi movies. Even though it's not much sci-fi, but it's all sort of it's a, it's a spy movie effectively, but it has sort of elements of it. Um, I think anyone who's sort of interested in them sort of movies, it applies to them. Um, and I think it really caters for all sort of needs, all age groups, um, and. As well as what I previously said about the uh, the characters, the different like the change of the characters, like Q is now a young Q. Um, I think that sort of it sort of comes towards the more modern era, the more modern Bond, um, as opposed to an old guy Q. And you can't it sort of plays on that as well. Um, which obviously, if you go see the film, you'll understand. Or if you already have seen it, if you're watching this film review from seeing it, you'll understand what I mean. The structure of the movie um, appears to it resembles the same similar sort of thing as the previous Bond movies. However. There is slight sort of subtle changes which I think people, which is why people sort of criticise this film. Uh, even though most of the sort of critics and the reviews are really high on this film, uh, personally mine's going to be very very high. Um, a lot of people um, sort of negatively review this film. Uh, I think a lot of it comes down to the structure because a typical James Bond sort of structure, a typical sort of James Bond plotline is it starts at the beginning, he gets a mission. Uh, he goes to he goes to see Q. He gets all gadgets. Then he goes on another mission. Oh, drop my pen. He goes on another mission. Uh, then he goes uh, and does whatever else he needs to do. The storyline goes on a little bit. He meets a woman. Then he finishes off the mission and then he ends up with a woman. 
Um, however, this film it, it, it differs from that a little bit. Um, obviously, it starts at the beginning when he's in a mission, um, and then it sort of it goes through. But towards the end, I don't want to spoil it too much. But towards the end, um, where there's a big sort of special thing, uh, it does sort of it does change a little bit, and I think that's why people don't like this film as much as they should really. Um, it does sort of give it, um, like I said, like I said, like I said a few minutes ago. Um, you do come out of the film feeling a bit like, wow, um, that is a bit different. Um, it is, it is essentially a James Bond. It is a James Bond film, but um, it does sort of feel sometimes like it isn't. It does. It feels like new Bond, and personally, I think the new sort of way they've done it. Um, not, not once in new way, but the way they sort of they've uh, presented the film. It, I feel like it's a bridge between the previous Bond films and the built Bond films coming up. Um, and like at the end, at the end, there's like there's like a logo and it says fifty years of Bond. Uh, Bond will be back, and there's sort of the clip previous to that where it won't reveal. Um, it sort of it really does feel like the next Bond films are going to be more sort of. I don't really know how to say that, but more upbeat films. Let's just say that um, compared to this film, uh, this film is absolutely amazing. It is it's it is an upbeat film, but uh, you'll know what I mean when I watch it. When you, if you watched it or if you haven't watched it without. Uh, sort of uh, seen it already. As with all Bond films, the cinema, the cinematography and the lighting, um, editing, everything was just absolutely spot on. Uh, the short sort of quick cut scenes between the, like when you do the chases and the different sort of camera angles, the wide shots, the close in shots, um, just all, all the lots of all the different sort of shots, the cinematography, everything that's way it's put together is just classic of a Bond film really. Um, and within the film there's lots of, uh, the shots are used sort of right really greatly, there's like these great big wide shots of vast open areas and then you sort of get like a pinpoint shot on just like an individual on a certain bit or a close up and I think it really sort of uh, makes you feel like you're there like when I, when I personally when I was watching the film um, I, I was sat there and I actually felt like I was sort of there with James Bond and with the people um, especially at the Skyfall estate which they go to which you'll see it's a very sort of eerie quiet place but then you do so you really do feel like you're there um, and I think that's what I think that's what the um, editors and the producers and the directors really wanted to get out of the film is want to make you feel like you're there. Um, and personally, I felt like I was there. As for special effects, um, just off the top of my head, I can't really think of like many special effects. Like I don't know what you'd class special effects as, like a car disappearing or just little things. Obviously, there's the, the chases and there's guns and whatever, and there's little spot of special effects. But there's nothing really that I find that sort of jumps out at you, and it sort of sees it. Sort of feels like oh, that you know that's a special effect. Um, obviously, if I watch the film back again, um, I would you pick me pick up on things because I studied film at school, and we were told to sort of pick films apart, and that's what you sort of do. Whereas this film, I didn't pick it apart as much because I just wanted to watch it for James Bond for a film. Because uh, I'm a massive fan of James Bond films, and uh, I've never actually, I never actually went to the cinema to see. It. I've never actually been to cinema to see a James Bond film. I've always watched them on DVD or when they've come on telly. Uh, I've never actually been to see one, so I just this time I want to just sort of take it in as the film itself. I won't pick it apart too much. Whereas a lot of films that like if we go to see to with my friends like comedies and stuff or just sort of other little sort of big production films, I will pick it apart. I'll take bits off it, um, and I'll sort of I'll pick out like camera faults or different failed camera angles or sort of. Little things that obviously other people don't pick up on. Apart from the special effects, go. Um, it's not nothing that struck me out straight away. Like I said, I won't pull it apart. But if I watched it again, I'd probably pick them out. But uh, all of it, it didn't. None of it looked any. None of it looked fake as such. Um, I, I'm literally while I'm thinking of this, I'm thinking of things that I've seen. Uh, there's a big. There's obviously there's a big crash and there's lots of there's fire in certain bits. Um, but I'd say that is relatively realistic. There's one big special effect which I I, don't, I can I can think of right now. Um, in London, but I won't tell you what it is, um, so I don't want to spoil it if you haven't already seen it. Uh, that is really, um, it's it, it's similar to something that was on Coronation Street a few years ago, um, but uh, it it looks more realistic. Um, but obviously, they can't really get it any more realis realistic without actually doing it, uh, and the special effects that they used must have been good. Um, I'm actually going to see if I can find that on uh, a clip of that of the make of that scene, which I'm thinking of in my head. At some point, and uh, I'll, I'll I'll link it up in this in this video eventually, uh, put it in the description at some point. But it's I'm gonna see if I can find the making of the thing. So it'd be really interesting to see how how they actually did it, whether they used a real thing, a model, or whether it was just completely all CGI special effects. For the music in this film, um, the theme Skyfall, uh, sung by Adele, um, was a very it was sort of it was just typical Bond really. Um, I didn't really like I didn't really like it when I heard Adele was doing the Skyfall theme tune. I'm not a big fan of Adele really. Um, but what I what 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 I heard at the beginning of the film, it was good. It fitted in. Um, it's a bit like I think they did they have Shirley Bassey in the previous Bond films and some of them. 
Um, and they've had like the likes of Madonna and all sorts. But uh, some of the Bond films, like the film themes, I absolutely love the songs. But uh, they used uh, Adele in the Skyfall one. I think it fit in quite well. Um, I, I can't remember at the end whether they had the Skyfall song on at the end. Uh, when I've been talking to people, they actually said they didn't have it at the end. Whereas a lot of Bond films, they have like the song replayed at the end. And I can't remember if it, it had it at the end or whether it was a different song. Because usually have it singing at the end as well. Uh, as a part of sort of other music, other songs within James Bond, uh, there wasn't that many ones that sort of stood out for a long period of time. Those little ones, the way like the typical sort of Bond film, uh, the Bond sort of music you get in the background, where it's like going to chase someone or like the, just just the typical Bond film. I'm not gonna do it in my head. Uh, I'm not gonna impersonate. Cause I don't want to embarrass myself. But uh, the typical sort of Bond film that that came out in the film at certain points, and it's sort of when you when you heard it, you were like, yeah. I actually smiled. I was like, yeah. This is this really is a Bond film. I'm really sort of enjoying this. And it really sort of gets you into it. So there are some of the main points that I've covered in this film uh, film review. Uh, this is just a test film review, remember. Uh, it is serious, but it's uh, it's something sort of just to test myself with. Um, so, uh, so I'd like to ask you guys to tell me what you think of it. Um, overall, I'd give this film out of 10, I'd give it a 9. Um, 10 being absolutely spot on and perfect. 9.5 being, uh, I really, really wish I was sort of involved in it. And 9, absolutely amazing, but um, it's not... It's not something that you'd sort of uh, rave and rave and rave and rave and rave and rave on about. Um, I, I can rave on about this film forever. It is good, but uh, it's not It's not like the most standout movie of all time. Um, it is one of the best Bond films, I admit. Um, it is truly awesome, but just, 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 I don't know. It's hard to say stuff without contradicting yourself, if you know what I mean. If you was giving it a star rating out of five, I'd probably give it a four and a half, uh, which probably weighs into the similar as a, t as, a, as a nine out of ten or a star rating. So uh, thanks for watching this first ever film review. It's Skyfall, um, James Bond Skyfall. Uh, tell me what you think of this film review. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how this has come across. Uh, this is just really one continuous take. Obviously, I've uh, been stopping doing bits of the lots and lots of cuts. I have my laptop here. I just have little notes just up on it. Um, just sort of little bullet points just to sort of um, what can I say? Sort of prompt me as such. Uh, but in future film reviews, it won't be there. I'm gonna try and do a lot of it off the top of my head. Uh, this is the first film review that I've ever done. Uh, this is It's Jamie IRL. I subscribe for more film reviews. Um, this makes me want to go to cinema a lot more often. Now, I love film. Um, I'd love to have a career in film. Um, and this is hopefully sort of the first sort of other step I can take towards fulfilling that. So, uh, thanks for watching uh, this first ever film review. And I'll uh, see you tomorrow.